Hey busy bees! School is almost back in session and if you're anything like me, you are always snacking. Even when I went to work, I was always snacking, so this video will be good for everyone. Today, I'm showing you five around the world bento boxes. But first, before we start, I wanted to let you guys know that last year I started a vlog channel and ever since having baby, it's been really hard for me to keep up with. So I've decided to make micro blogs micro vlogs and bring it onto my Instagram. So if you guys want to see daily updates video wise, be sure to follow me on Instagram at honeysucklebees. And if you guys love a snacking, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe below for more healthy, delicious and useful recipes. And we'll go ahead and get started with our world bento boxes. All right, we're gonna start with our first bento box. I fried up a few gyozas, which are like pot stickers, and I'm just gonna stick a few in. Now, if you guys are wondering what kind of bento box I'm using, it's just a stainless steel box by You Can Serve. I got it at Whole Foods, but you can find it at Amazon as well. And what's really cool is that it has this divider right here, so it helps you compartmentalize. I didn't use it in the video, but I imagine this would be really good for sandwiches, and if you have like a salad or like fruits, you don't want the bread to get soggy, this would be really useful too. And then I rolled up an omelette and cut it up Japanese style. Then I have some brown rice balls that I covered with furikake. Then for our veggies, I'm adding in some edamame beans that I coated with sesame seed oil and sprinkled with sea salt. And finally, some strawberries for color and sweetness. To dip our pot stickers, I'm gonna add a packet of soy sauce. And that's our Japanese inspired bento box. I love that this bento box has protein, carbs, fruits, and veggies. It's super balanced. All right, now let's head on over to Korea for another inspired snack box. First up, I'm adding in some kimbap, which are Korean snack rolls. They're really popular. You guys can see all of the different ways that I make kimbap in my video that I'll link in the end, and I'll also leave a link in the description box. Then I'm gonna add some seaweed salad. And finally, for some sweetness, white peaches. Simple yet delicious. Now let's make a quick stop in Italy where we'll enjoy an antipasti snack. I skewered some mozzarella balls and cherry tomatoes with basils for caprese sticks. Then I have some cheese tortellini that I coated with pesto sauce for our pasta salad. Some thick sliced calabrese salami. Some marinated olives and artichoke hearts. And finally, dried fruits and nuts. This box is nice and savory, and I can imagine myself sitting under the Tuscan sun, sipping a glass of red wine, and eating this snack. Mm, the life. All right, now we're gonna fly somewhere over the rainbow. In this box, I'll start with my strawberries, add some baby carrots, some yellow tomatoes, broccoli florets that I've blanched, some blackberries, and finally, a crisp bunch of grapes. Now that's getting a real taste of the rainbow. I bet kids would eat this up because it's so pretty. And back to where I originally got the inspiration to make this video, Starbucks. They have these protein bistro boxes that always look really interesting, but I think I'm gonna make my copycat version here and share it with you. For protein, I'm adding some hard boiled eggs, sprinkled with salt and pepper, a couple of whole wheat mini pitas, a generous helping of creamy natural peanut butter, a tiny bunch of grapes, some apple slices, and of course some cheese. I have a baby bell and some cheddar cubes. So what did you guys think of our snack boxes around the world? I have so many other ideas that I wanted to throw in like peanut butter jelly inspired with uh, some fruits and then some trail mix. This would be really good to bring along on a hike, like an energy protein snack, but maybe I'll come up with another one. Let me know what you guys think and if you guys have any fun ideas for your own snack box, comment below. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye!